Okay, let's talk about the trot. This is an image of the trotting dog. So this dog is moving correctly at a trot and in a trot, diagonally opposite front and rear feet move forward together. So in this dog, the left front and the right rear have swung forward. Between each pair of legs moving forward together, there's a moment of suspension. And so the schnauzer in this photo is in that moment of suspension. Now in frame A on the left, you can see the footfalls. So you can see that first the left front and right rear are hitting the ground together, shown by the numbers one, and then that's followed by the right front and the left rear hitting the ground, indicated by the numbers two. Note that on each step forward, the rear foot falls into the footprint left by the front foot on the same side. Now for that to happen, the front foot has to lift up just before the rear foot on the same side finishes its forward movement. And the timing of this footfall is quite important and a problem with that timing is one of the main causes of an abnormal trotting gait. So correct footfall is one of the things that dogs learn when they're taught specifically to trot.